Welcome back. We've got Shannon Becker in the studio with his big three news stories of the week. Good morning. Hello, how are you? Doing pretty good. How All are you right. doing? I'm doing great. A little cooler today, but that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Let's take a look at these hot stories. Big three stories of the week live and local. Children's Miracle Network. It's one of the organizations that Ollie's supports across the country. They helped cut the grand opening ribbon the other day. There were actually like hundreds of people. Look at that line. Yeah, very long. I mean, wow. yeah, it's at 1329 South Range Line, the former Slumberland location. Uh, they just kind of say it like it is right there on the sign, huh? Good stuff, <laughs> cheap. <laughs> to they, the point. Yeah, yeah, let's not <laughs> mince any words. So like if someone, there's some Legos there. If someone's going out of business, a big company perhaps, uh, they'll buy all of their stuff. They have tons of books. Uh, they have these really cool signs that are very funny. All <laughs> around the store, it's got this guy named Ollie who actually founded the company in the early 1980s. He's passed away now, but it's really a kind of kitschy, fun store that every time you go in, you're going to find something different. They also <laughs> have a flyer that's released every week, like a weekly special. Oh. You can sign up for that or check it out online. They have a text alert, all that sort of jazz. Check out Ollie's. Our number two story, KOM News Now, is something I've never witnessed at this large of a scale. 19 cars derailed. Mm. It blocked the Main Street in Wyandotte, Oklahoma. Happened late Saturday night. A BNSF train was traveling uh, from the Seneca area into Oklahoma. It was experiencing some kind of issues, uh, some grass fires in between the two towns had erupted, uh, had started along the way, meaning there's probably something dragging mm. or even some people there in Wyandotte said they saw some of the wheels on the train were just bright red. Oh, wow. Like they were maybe stopped, you mm -hmm. know, well, whatever it is, uh, 19 cars there derailed. It's just like a massive event. Nobody was hurt though, which is amazing. It took them about 36 hours before they had the tracks rebuilt mm -hmm. and trains were rolling through again. And then about 48 hours later, they actually opened up Main Street again with the signals repaired. More details on our website. Our number one story, you ever heard of a beef -a -roo? No, I have not. I, I have not either. I was thinking kangaroo, but uh, no, <laughs> nothing to do with kangaroos either. beef -a -roo, it's a restaurant that started in Rockford, Illinois in the 1960s. And just in the last couple of years, I mean, this we're talking way back when. <laughs> so in the last couple of years, they got bought by a different company. Now they're launching all across the country. So beef -a -roo would be like comparative to a Mr. Quick that we had here in the Joplin area. Mm. They have these famous cheese fries and then that guy running around with that hamburger and dancing it. They're taking over the Hardee's locations that closed in the last Last year. You can see the menu, check out more details, and it's, they kind of take a, I've seen them have some backyard burger locations. Oh, so okay. they just kind of move into older buildings and kind of refer, and it's doing really well. Ooh. And then our bonus story of the week well, tonight, the Food mm. Network Joplin is featured as the best bite in town. There are mm. six restaurants that will battle it out in the <laughs> Battle Royale of the I mean, sorry about that. The best <laughs> bite in town. It's at eight o'clock. It's on the Food Network, so you'll have to be sure you have cable or you've got satellite or something <laughs> like that. They recorded it last fall here in Joplin. It was top secret. Did you know anything about it? No, I yeah. didn't. Wow. They actually told me to stay away. Wow. Like we want, we don't want to know about the secrets and stuff. So I was like, all well, right, okay, then. you do your thing. <laughs> so it's the bonus story this week. Best bite in town tonight on the Food Network. Check it out. Man, making me hungry. I know. Jeez. It's a little, some of that's a little fancy. I'm going for the beef -a You know, <laughs> you see me here. <laughs> hey, tell me how it is. I, oh, I know. <laughs> well, I haven't either. We'll have to go there. That's but the best bite in town, a beef a -roo. Beef a -roo. Well, yeah. I mean, the big three stories or well, four, they sounded pretty awesome this yeah, week. Well, it's been busy as always. I know you, you always stay on it. I try. Well, thank you so much. We'll be right back after this.